A nonprofit horse farm that provides therapy for people with disabilities, domestic violence survivors and veterans now finding itself in need of help. As News 12's Doug Gee tells us, it is being threatened by eminent domain. This is the nonprofit farm Palomine, a place where powerful animals have a powerful and calming effect on the disabled, abuse victims, or those who've witnessed the horrors of war. There's also a garden area that becomes a kind of sanctuary for those who come here. It gives me a confidence and a responsibility and showmanship. Yeah. Makes you feel good, right? Yeah, it makes me feel good. Being here is my second home. I've been with Lisa for many years. And then independence. It's a therapy that's unlike any other. Tom Hayes is a Marine who did two tours overseas. He finds peace in the horses. They can feel when you're tense and nervous and, and they don't want to be near you. And then when they see you kind of calming down and approaching them, you know, a little bit more steady, they, they'll even come meet you. Um, and that empowers you, right? Oh, 100 percent. This part of the farm is a 1.7 acre parcel. It includes some housing for staff members. In recent years, the village of Islandia has been looking to purchase this land, including through eminent domain. They say they need it for their public works department. For me, it's very frustrating only because when you run a nonprofit, especially here on Long Island, owning real estate, it's very time consuming. Any litigation is always time consuming. There is money involved, and I would much rather be teaching out here with our kids. There's a Move to grant the parcel agricultural status, which supporters say could help preserve it. 20-year volunteer Carol Evers hopes so. They have touched so many lives in such a positive way. When they first come here, it's they're very tentative and uh, introverted and shy, and they don't know how to make friends. The horses make them feel so confident. The program first began in 1995. In Islandia, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island. And we did call and email Islandia Mayor Alan Dorman for a comment, but so far we have not heard back from him.